This is Marlisa Nelson on her Facebook page. This is a hospital selfie of her face today, cut above the eye, swelling, several bruises. She tells us 43-year-old Shani Wilson got out of her Jeep and started wailing on her, and that Wilson's daughter, Imari Loggins, jumped out of the passenger seat to join in. Then her daughter uh, came up from behind, grabbing my hair and uh, hitting me. My face beat me to a pulp. They weren't stopping. I almost intervened, I almost did before I knew there was a gun, obviously. Molly Heyman saw the middle of the afternoon fight along Calhoun Street from inside Rally House where she works, describing how the women slammed into the storefront. Smear marks still visible on the glass window next door. Nelson, who has a concealed carry permit, related how she reached her car and grabbed her revolver. I got that, they backed up and then the mother came at me again, grabbing the gun where it was when it went off and I just tried to keep it where nobody got injured. Two sappers and a customer were inside Rally House at the time. She said they have a gun and I said, go to the back um, because this is all glass. And I said, just go to the back. And there's witnesses to support the allegation. In court today, said, Wilson's lawyer said the gun was pointed at her face and she was scared. Like her daughter, who's 20 and lives close to where this happened, she pleaded not guilty. A verbal altercation about a parking space escalating dangerously before police got there. It's complete nonsense, and I'm thankful that I at least had a weapon to protect myself to make these women or girls back up, so stand down. And according to the court, the daughter is a student here at UC. The mother lives and works in the Columbus area. Neither one of them has a prior criminal record, both out tonight on bond. Reporting live in the UC area, John London, WWT News 5.